actually knew Holly Suzanne Rader. Um, she knew her from um, initially when we started our to play print business and she was printing work with us. Um, and we knew her then boyfriend and um, she's been working with us. Now, Susan Annan has been, um, was referred to us, she wanted to do some printing as well. And so my, it popped up in my husband's head that, you know, why don't we, we had a spot open, why don't we put the two together? And so then what happens is once they agree to, to have the show, then they bring the pieces of work on what they want to show at, at, at the gallery, or we'll look at them first and see what's going to work. So they brought all their art over, and then we curate the show. Runa will place them so that there'll be a, a rhythm and a and a visual stimulation to bring people in and thrill. Susan Adam lives in Belmar. She is was trained in Italy. Um, she derives a lot of her inspiration through poetry, um, and there's a lot of symbolism. Um, with her um, Italian training, there's all the symbols of Venice and some of the little graffiti here. Um, well, her work and her medium is in oil painting. So all this and so all these things here that you see, everything is done in oil painting. Um, what we're offering here as well is original paintings, but, but along with the original paintings, we're offering. For Susan Ann and 15 limited edition signed she play printing. And we do all the printing in house um, so that we can guarantee the quality. And what's really great is we're also, what we did was that we had the juxtaposition um, with Holly Suzanne Rader. Um, <coughs> Holly Suzanne Rader is our other artist. Holly Suzanne is from uh, originally from Tennessee. She um, resides in Long Branch. What we love about her is that the ability to express herself in mixed media. Um, she uses a lot of spray paint and um, and stripping and um, <coughs> graffiti, and she uses a lot of imagery through um, old movie stars. Um, this particular series is about um, the Gibson girl. And one of the, somebody came in here and said, well, why are all these women wearing crowns? <laughs> and um, her response was, well, every woman deserves a crown. <laughs>